And, uh, Senate Democrats have released a video. It was put out by Harry Reid, and it shows Republicans supporting gun control measures right after Newtown. Let me play it. All of us, Republicans and Democrats, have recognized that we need more effective and broader background. I think there is uh, discussion, or at least chatter, about strengthening and improving the background checks. But I want to take it beyond discussion and chatter. I mean, can we get you on the record saying that you think that that will likely pass uh, through Congress, the idea of universal background checks? And is it something uh, you think, could vote for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I think it's a reasonable step forward. Okay. So, reasonable step forward. Jeff Flake, who was also on Meet the Press uh, just this weekend, uh, saying that he would more effective and broader background checks could be something that, that he would support as well. What happened? Right. Well, I think the further we are removed from the Newtown tragedy, uh, the further this issue is in the rearview mirror. Uh, there's a lot going on in Congress right now, huge economic issues. Uh, the Senate's trying to work on a massive immigration package, the first of its kind in a very long time. So it's basically fallen further down the to-do list of Harry Reid and House Speaker John Boehner. Furthermore, I will say it's not just the Republicans who are becoming uh, weaker on this issue. You have several Senate Democrats who are up for re-election in conservative states in 2014. And they also are hedging a little bit more on, on gun control issues. Well, I guess what's also